This is uh, one of my LA Color eyeshadow palettes, the three color uh, palette. It is a deep um, blue with a lime green in the middle and a bright pink. I'm trying to open it uh, up, but my nails being that long, uh, it's hard to uh, open, so we'll just talk about it instead. The number for this is CES441, and the name of this palette is Lotus, L-O-T-U-S. And it is by LA Colors. Okay, the next one is also by LA Colors. Um, the first color is icy blue color, and then a pretty baby pink and then a bluish green color and this is also LA Colors three color eyeshadow palette and the number for it is CES444 and the name is Water Lily And this next one is also about LA Colors, and the colors is a bright golden yellow, or like an almost like a neon yellow, and then a bright bright pink, and then a bright bluish purple color. And you can tell from the eyeshadow brush, I've already used the bluish purple color uh, already. Um, the palette name for number for this is CES442. And I can't pronounce the name of this one, but I'll spell the name. It is P-E-O-N-Y. And it's by LA Colors. And I got all of these three LA Color uh, three palettes of uh, eyeshadow from my local General Dollar store. This one here is also by LA Colors, and I got it from, also from my local General Dollar store. It has different colors of eyeshadow, eyeshadows and their bright colors and they have sparkle or glitter mixed in so they're glittery eyeshadow colors and there's nine colors and um, back it's called uh, Glittering Scarlet Eyeshadow by LA Colors the number is GP85 and the name for this palette is B-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. And I also got it from my local general dollar store. And then the next one is um, a creamy um, eyeshadow. And it is called... Um, Color Tattoo by Eyeshadow. It's a 24 hour wearing eyeshadow. And this one is the um, color gold. And the number is 45 and it is called Bold Gold. And it is by Eyeshadow, I mean Eye Studio Color Tattoo. And these are like a really creamy um, eyeshadows. And I got this from my local John Dollar store. Okay, the next one here. It's also from Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. And it's there, uh, by Maybelline New York. I got this one also from my local John Dollar store. It's the um, Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. It's a 24 hour wearing 
and the number is 20 and the name of it is painted purple and it's also a creamy um, smooth soft eyeshadow and I'm sorry my camera is will not focus on anything I don't know why it takes really good pictures but when it comes to video recording it just will not focus um, this one is also from Color Tattoo um, by I Studio by Maybelline New York. I also got it from my local general dollar store. Um, it's the Color Tattoo by I Studio 24 hour wearing. Um, the number is 05 and it's called Too Cool and it's like a white silver color. It's also creamy. And then my other one is um, Maybelline New York Color Tattoo by I Studio. It's also from my local general dollar store. And it's Color Tattoo by I Studio 24 hour wearing. The number is 40 and it's called Tentacious Teal. And it's also a creamy eyeshadow and it's blue. And I also got this from my local general dollar store. Okay. And the next thing is, um, this is the only big eyeshadow palette that I have right now. Um, I bought it off of eBay for I think under thirty. It was under thirty dollars twenty something, and it was just a black, solid black um, eyeshadow palette. And so I decided to decorate it two or three days ago, and I decorated it with these pretty butterfly and rainbow and flower stickers. So I decorated the front cover of it, but I purchased this off of eBay. And this is my first um, big, full, rainbow colored eyeshadow palette. I have all kinds of different colors to choose from in this palette. If you see this little red um, ribbon right here, if you pull it up slowly, the top part comes off and there's a second level to this palette case, uh, this uh, eyeshadow palette. So now there's two sections and they're all different colors. Oranges and greens and blues, browns and yellows pinks and purple, and green and blues, whites, gold and blacks. So there's a lot of different colors to choose from. And again, I got this off of ebay.com for under $30. And this is my um, only big eyeshadow palette that I have at the moment. And the number for this palette is P120-1 and that is uh, the number for this palette. Okay, for my lip glosses. Okay, this lip gloss here is by Donna Michelle, and it's strawberry scented lip gloss. Um, it's really good. I got this um, either at my local Dollar Tree or General Dollar Store. I don't remember which one, um, but this is a really good lip gloss. I really like this, especially because my lips uh, tend to dry out, especially in the winter time, but they also can stay chapped in the summer. So I wear a lot of lip glosses. And so this is just one of my lip glosses I have from Donna Michelle. And it smells really good too. Okay, my second lip gloss. Um, I got this one from my local general dollar store. It's from LA Colors. 
And the name has been rubbed off of it, so I can't read it too much, but it's something Go. And it says on uh, the Go Pocket Lip Gloss. Um, the number for it is BLG350, and the name is called Dazzling, D-A-Z-Z-L-I-N-G. And it's like a pretty rosy peachy pink, but more pink, uh, like a rosy pink. And um, it kind of makes you look like you got pinkish natural colored looking lips, and I really like that. Um, so I really like this lip gloss here and it's probably almost all used up because I've used this one a lot. Okay, the next one is a big uh, lip uh, lip balm and it's from Wet n Wild and it's Juicy Lip Balm SPF 15 and um, it is strawberry scented and the number for it is 283C and it's strawberry and it's from wet and wild and it's a lip balm juicy lip balm and I got this from my local general dollar store and I haven't used that much of it um, and of course it's really big it's like a big lip balm so it'll take me probably a long time just to use it up and my next one is called baby lips and this is the only um, shade that I like from Baby Lips because it kind of makes you look like you have pink to natural colored lips. It's really pretty and it's, it's got like a Hawaiian punch um, scent to it. It smells really, really good. Um, it's from uh, Maybelline, New York and it's Baby Lips. And this one don't have a number on it so I can't tell you the number for it. But, um, oh, here it is. It's number 25, and it's called Pink Punch Lip Balm. And then I got it at uh, Walmart, look at Walmart for the baby lips. And then this one here, it's like a blood red. It's like a dark, dark red lip gloss. I got it uh, for my Halloween uh, decorating I done on myself on my face uh, this past Halloween so that's why I bought this from my local John Dollar store um, it's more it's El from Ellie Colors moisturizing lip gloss um, the number for it is LG856 and the name for it is red alert and it's very very bright red lip gloss it turns your lips red I got it from a local John Dollar store. This one here is just a clear see-through lip gloss. Um, it's from Color Mates, and it does not have a number or name of this lip gloss. And I think I got it from my local Dollar Tree. Okay, next is my face powder makeup. Okay, this is um, my, one of my newest face powders I've just recently bought and wanted to try out. It's Neutrogena Mineral Shears Powder Foundation SPF 20. And the number for it is number 10. The name is Classic Ivory. And I bought this at my local CVS. I wanted to try it out. And um, if you open it up, you can see the makeup on top and it has a second layer to it where you open it. it has a mirror and then the little spongy thing and uh, you can close it back and there's the makeup again I close it again but it's Neutrogena Mineral Sheer Powder Foundation SPF 20 and then on the back um, it says Pure Gentle Dermatologist Select the uh, Minerals Evens and Enhances Skin Clarity Tone and Texture Lightweight Foundation Lends Effortlessly with Sheer to Medium um, Buildable Coverage Oil Free and Fragrance Free um, and you can find us at CVS or probably Walmart somewhere too but I got this from my local CVS 
Okay. My next um, face powder foundation. It's from CoverGirl. And we open up, there's a mirror. And then my little um, powder brush thing. And then my makeup, it's um, a light for light skin. Um, it's also for people with sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin. I have to watch what kind of makeup I wear. Um, but this is number 220 from CoverGirl, and the name is called um, it says CoverGirl, and it says Clean, and it says Creamy Natural. It's for sensitive skin pressed powder. So that's one of my other face um, powders. And then my other face powder, my last one, it's from Jerome Alexander. This is the makeup I've seen this advertised on TV. And so I found it in my local general dollar store and I bought it. And I think it was $10 or 10 or $15. And I think it was 10 though. And so you open it up and it has the little uh, application sponge thing. And I've used this a lot. I really like this makeup and it's about gone. Um, it has the pressed powder. And then on the inside it has green, purple, and pink um, dot other powders and mixed with it. And that um, gives you full a, tone, a full cover tone like if you have redness in certain spots of your face on your skin um, if you pat this all over it gets rid of the redness and evens out your skin. And I really, really like this. And it's by Jerome Alexander. It's called Magic Miracle Powder. Um, and I found this at my local General Dollar store. Okay, now lipsticks. Okay. This one here is a lipstick um, palette. Or color lip palette. It is by LA Colors. Um, it's LA Colors uh, color lip palette. The number is BPL461 and the name is Kissable. And I got this from my local um, general dollar store. And it's a little bit hard to open so It took me a second to open it for y'all. Um, you can tell which two colors I've used the most, but this is like a creamy, um, soft lipstick, and I just use my fingers and like dab it on my lips and um, make sure it's even. It came with a brush, but I lost the brush to it, so. Um, but yeah, you can see the two colors that I use the most. Um, but I, I don't remember how much this is at the general dollar. But um, when I was at my local general dollar store, they still had it and selling this. So um, it's really, really good. I really like this. It's by LA Colors. Okay, my next lipstick. This is called. Miss Lean Color Boost Lipstick and Lip Balm. It's two in one. On one side, it has a very uh, light baby pink lipstick, and it's like a small mini lipstick. And on the other side, it has a clear light light shade pink, um, like a gloss that goes over the lipstick. And my one of my a pen pal friends from Thailand sent me this in a uh, gift package and so that's how I got this so uh, I don't know where she got it from but y'all might be able to find it here in the United States I'm not sure but she got this for me in Thailand and then my next lipstick is LA Colors vitamin E um, lipstick I got from my local um, Jaw Dollar. It's a pretty um, pink color.
and the number for this is BLC249 Sorbet, S-O-R-B-E-T, and that is the name and number for that lipstick. And I got it from my local general dollar store. Okay, my next one is also a LA Colors um, uh, lipstick, and it's also a pink shade lipstick. Okay, and the number for this is BLC258, and the name is Hint. H I N T, and it is a pink, another pink shade. Um, most of my lipsticks are in the shade of some kind of pink. They might be different color pinks, but they're mostly pink. Um, yes, yeah, so most of my lipsticks are pink shaded, but just in different color shades of pink. But yeah, that's um, my LA color there from John Dollar. My, this one here is also LA Colors lipstick from my local journal dollar store and the number for it is BLC253 and the name is Flower F-L-O-W-E-R it's also another shade of pink and um, I got it from my local journal dollar store also Okay, and this LA color also came from my local John Dollar store. Um, it is LA Colors Lipstick, and uh, the name for it is BLC258, and the name is Hint, H I N T, which I have two of these, so y'all already seen this, but this is another one I bought. I bought two of these. Um, it's also a shaded pink color lipstick. Okay, and then this one is Wet n Wild uh, lipstick in a shade of pink, and the name for this is Nine Zero Seven C, and it is called Mauve Outta Here. M A U V E and then O U T T A and then H E R E mob out of here in the color rose it's like a rose pink and it is from wet and wild and I got it from my local John dollar store and this one is also from wet and wild it's also a pink color And this color is smoking hot pink in the color rose. S M O K I N H O T P I N K. Smoking hot pink. And the number for this is 905D. And it is also in a dark shade of pink by Wet and Wild. And I got it from my local John Dollar store. Okay. And then this is another Wet and Wild lipstick in another shade of pink and the number for this is 907C and then the name for it is Mauve Outta Here M-A-U-V-E-O-U-T-T-A-H-E-R-E -E -E, Mauve Outta Here in the color rose and this I just said this one uh, this is just the second one I bought because I really like this color it's a pinkish color and it's from Wet n Wild, and also I bought it from my local General Dollar store. Okay, and this one uh, lipstick is by CG Company CG, and it is a pink color, like a very light pink color. And the number for this one is 415, and the name is called Rose Quartz, R-O-S-E-Q-U-A-R-T-Z, Rose Quartz. And the number again is 415. 
and it's like a very light shade of pink by uh, the company CG and I think I got this one also from my local general dollar store okay and then this one is a very very dark pink it's very pretty though it's like a pretty dark pink um, I got it in a Christmas makeup gift set so it and a certain brand it's just like an off cheap brand but it's really pretty colored it don't have a number or the name of it it's a very dark pretty pink and then I have another one just like it but it is a very dark pretty red and it does not have a name or a number because it came in a makeup set I got for Christmas a couple years ago and I still have it I still use them every once in a while um, but it's a very pretty dark red so I'm not for sure what the name or the number is for these and that is all my lipsticks and now my BB creams and my concealer okay this is my favorite favorite BB cream. It's a VIP gold collection. It's a super plus blemish balm BB whitening UV protecting SPF 25 PA plus plus wrinkle improvement. And it's by Skin 79 and it's made in Korea. It's a Korean brand and it's good if you have really ivory white skin because that's what it's best for it matches my skin really good um, it's a super plus blemish balm whitening wrinkling improvement ultraviolet rays interception SPF 25 PA plus plus sorry about that I had to pause my camera for a second um, so where was I um, then it's KF DA three function certification um, it says it's a three effects functional blemish balm by Asanine and Arbutin ingredients which are effective in whitening wrinkles uh, well wrinkle improvement um, cultivate more bright and elastic skin um, That makes uh, your skin um, shiny and healthy. Um, and again, it is made in Korea and it is a Korean brand. I bought this off of eBay. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but yeah, I bought this off of eBay.com. Um, but yeah, they have this in the gold, the silver, and I think there's an orange one too. I don't know what it's called, but I have the gold one, and it does really, really well with my skin. I have white, uh, ivory, pale skin. Um, so if y'all are interested in looking that up, y'all can look up that. And then this is another um, BB um, cream foundation type thing that I purchased from my local CVS store. Um, Super BB Physicians Formulated um, Cream. And it says All in One Beauty Balm Compact Cream SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Sunscreen. And it's in the shade Light. Um, and again, I bought this at my local CVS pharmacy. Um, you can open it up and it has the BB cream packed in the top. If you lift up the second part, it has a mirror in the compact um, sponge. So yeah, this is the Super BB cream physician formula. Um, I think it's okay. It's not my favorite. I still like the um, Super Plus BB Cream, the first one I showed you, uh, made by Korea, uh, made in Korea. It's my favorite one, um, but this one's okay. 
and then I have a concealer lipstick stick um, you put it like underneath your eyes for dark circles or if you have any redness on your face anywhere you put our breakout spots this is good for that it is um, from CG and the number for it is 710 in the color light and I also got this at my local general dollar store okay and then for my blushes I only have I only own two blushes right now um, I have this light rosy pink it's like a light pink it's from L, the company LG um, it comes with the brush and the little um, blush palette um, it says it's, uh, the name of it is Cheekers C H E E K E R S Cheekers and this is blush and the number for it is 105 and rose and then silk SLK R O S E for rose and SLK um, CG cheekers blush and then this is my second blush it's in a brighter rosy pink um, it's by Ellie colors and the number for this is BC 142 and the name is Blushing Pink, B L U S H I N G P I N K, Blushing Pink. The number again is BC142. And I bought this from my local General Dollar store. Uh, it's from Ellie Colors and it is a bright rosy pink. Even though it don't show on the camera, it's a lot brighter. And that is my. Um, light pinkish um, blush uh, there now for my eyebrow pencils and eyeliner pencils this is a elf eyebrow filler palette that I got at my local Dollar Tree a while back um, it's from elf studio there's two colors it's the eyebrow kit um, by elf mirror and dual brush applicator included the dark brown color is gel and then the light tannish color is a light powder to go over after um, this is creates brows that are fuller thicker and more defined shapes and sets your eyebrows gives lasting color definition for a beautiful natural look and that's uh, what it looks like right there in this little palette now I'll put it back in the box. And this is the box, uh, Elf Studio Eyebrow Kit um, in the number. Let's see if I can find the number. Um, I think it is in the number 81301. I think that's the number for that. And then I have my little eyebrow eyeliner pencil sharpener. And then I have one of my liquid eyeliners. It is by LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. And the number for this is 8247 and the color black LA colors liquid eyeliner and I'm taking off the lid for y'all so y'all can see uh, the brushes how they look because each one of these I have the brushes are different um, that is one of my liquid eyeliners and my second liquid eyeliner is Wet n Wild's H2O proof uh, I guess it's waterproof and it's liquid eyeliner and the number C881 in the color black I prefer the black eyeliners more than the colored ones or the brown ones I like the black ones better but yeah this is uh, my second eye, uh, eyeliner and it's Wet n Wild's H2O proof and that is what the brush looks like for it and it's like a thick 
brush for it. And I, I got most of these uh, liquid eyeliners from my local Dollar Tree. And this one here is Wet n Wild and it says Mega Liner Liquid Eyeliner in the color black. The number for it is 861 and it's also in the color black from Wet n Wild. And I also got it from my local Dollar Tree. And that is the brush for it. It's a small thin brush for it. And then my last liquid eyeliner um, is by e.l.f. and it is the number four two zero three in the color black and again it's by e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and I also got this I think this one came from my local Dollar Tree or it came from Walmart it was one or the other, but I think it might have been from my local Dollar Tree. Because that's where most of my liquid eyeliners come from. And that's all my liquid eyeliners. And then this one I recently just bought. It is a pen eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, by Maybelline New York. It says Master um, something... By I Studio, it's Master, and then it says P R E C I S E. I guess Master Priest or Peace or whatever. By um, I Studio, and the color black. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's like a sharp tip, um, and it's like a liquid pen eyeliner. And I got it from my local General Dollar store. And then this one is a eyebrow um, pencil. It comes with a little eyebrow brush and it's in the color brown. It is by um, Reminel London, R-I-M-M-E-L-L-O-N-D-O-N, Reminel London. And it's professional eyebrow pencil in the color brown and it has the brush. And the number is 004. Well, it's called 004, and then it says black brown. So I guess it's in between a black and a brown. And I got it from my Walmart, local Walmart. Okay, and then the next one. I got it is a special eyes um, it's also an eyeliner pencil from Reminal London in the color black magic and the number is 161 and it's black and I got it from my local Walmart this one I got it has a eyebrow brush on one end and it has the um, eyebrow liner on the other and it's in the color brown Maybelline New York Master Shape by Eye Studio Deep Brown and then this one is a black eyeliner that um, you take the cap off and screw it to raise the stuff on the inside um, it is Ruminal London number 261 in the color black, it says exaggerate full color eye definer. So that's that one. And then this one, it is the color workshop eye pencil, and um, it is in the color black. It's a very short one. I've used it for a while, so it's about gone. I got it from my local Walmart and then this one here I have three of these because I needed some of these to do a um, Halloween um, makeup 
face design this past Halloween on myself and other people. So I bought like three or four of these from um, my local Walmart. And it's Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, the number 651 in the color black. And it's brow and eyeliner, but I used it to uh, draw my face with to do a Halloween design. Um, so I have three of these. So the next three that you're going to see um, is the same thing. And that's the one that's not been opened yet. It's still in the package that it came in. And I got those three from my local Walmart. Sorry if I'm a little bit behind, but I'm having to... Um, add voice to the video later instead of right then. This is my Milani uh, eyeshadow primer. I've never used eyeshadow primer before. This is I just bought this and it's new to me, so I'm not used to it yet. And it's not been used but once. It's Milani eyeshadow primer, lightweight, invisible finish. Works on all skin tones, and uh, the number is uh, 01 in the color nude. And I bought this from my local CVS. I thought it was pretty expensive for it, but I still think it's really good. And that's what it looks like with the cap off. Uh, you don't have to use that much. Just like a tiny drop for each eyelid. And that's all you have to use. So this should last for a while. Well, for me anyway, because I don't wear makeup every single day. I just wear it when I feel like it. So um, it'll last me a while. Then my eyeshadow lashes and glue. My false eyeshadow lashes and glue. Now, this is my eyeshadow. I mean, eyeshadow. Sorry about that. <laughs> Mistake. Uh, this is my eye curler that I bought from my local John Dollar store. Because I've never curled my eyelashes before. And so, I thought, well, I'd get one. They don't cost that much. And, um... So I bought me one and I use it every once in a while, but not all the time. And I bought um, some false eyelashes from also my local John Dollar store. These are in the number 58718. And the name on these are Scarlet, S-T-A-R-L-E-T, Starlet. 100% uh, human hair. And on the back it tells you step to step how to do it. Now... I've always wanted to wear false eyelashes, but I cannot put them on myself whatsoever. I have tried over and over. I can do them great putting them on other people, just not myself. So I thought, well, I'll keep a couple packs of these around because um, my family members or friends asked me to do them for them. So that's why I have uh, this one and some extra ones in case a family member or a friend wants me to do their false eyelashes for them. And then this is the glue that uh, you use with them. It is a strip eyelash adhesive, waterproof, odor free, latex free, 24 hour flexible hold. No mess, easy applicator. And I got uh, all three of these at my local General Dollar store. And the glue is in the color black. And that is my false eyelashes and false eyelash glue and eyelash curler. Now my mascaras. I have two mascaras at the moment. I have this waterproof one right here. It's by Wet n Wild and it's Mega Protein Mascara. That's all it says on that. Um, the number for it is C137 in the color black um, and it is waterproof and this is what it looks like That is what the brush looks like for this mascara. Okay, for my second mascara, 
It's by Maybelline New York Illegal Length or Legal Length uh, Fiber Extensions Extensions D Fiber. Uh, sorry, I was just reading it. But um, yeah, it's in the color black, and the number for it is HN00, and it's called Very Black by Maybelline New York. And I, right now I only have these two mascaras. Um, I need to get me some other different ones and try different brands. But these are the only two I have right now. And I'm getting ready to show you what the brush looks like for it. This one is like a long, longer brush and bushier brush um, for this mascara. And this mascara here, I like it because it makes your eyelashes really, really long. So, and that is both of my mascaras. And now my other makeup stuff. This is my makeup remover. Um, it is L'Oreal Paris Clean. Uh, I can't pronounce this word. It's A R T I S T E, and it's 100% oil free. I makeup remover suitable for sensitive eyes because I do have sensitive eyes. Um, I know it says for eye makeup remover, but I use it for all of my face to get my makeup off. After I wash my face off of regular water and a towel, I go back over with this and it helps get that remaining makeup off my face. Um, it says refreshing eye makeup remover uh, instantly and gently removes eye makeup without greasy residue. Sorry about my bird in the background making a lot of noise. Okay, and um, it just says to use um, a cotton ball or a pad over closed eyelid and lashes until all traces of makeup are removed. Um, it says oil free, safe for contact lens wearers. So if you wear contacts, it's safe for your eyes. Um, so that's what I use, and I get it from my local general dollar store. Okay, and these are all of my makeup brushes I have. I don't have any high brand name makeup brushes. All of these are like cheap ones. So, um, these brushes right here I bought off eBay.com as a set with a bag. And these on the uh, other side um, I bought at my local general dollar store. So right now we're going to do the ones from my, uh, my brushes from the local general dollar store that um, I have right now first. Um, this is one of my white brushes I got from my local general dollar store. And I don't know each kind of brush what they're for. I'm just like I do basic makeup. I don't I'm not a professional or do like all high end type makeup. I'm not good at makeup that good. But this says it's a total face foundation brush. I mean a total face powder brush. Um and I bought this brush from my local general dollar store. And then this one here, it came with my face powder uh, from um, Jerome Alexander, that face powder that you saw. This is the brush that came with it. Uh, so this is where I got that brush. It came in a set uh, from my local general dollar store. And then this one here is my brand new foundation brush that I had just bought. I have not used it yet. Um, I needed a new one because my old one was getting really dirty and nasty. Even though I clean it and everything, it's still stained and stuff. So I went and bought me a new concealer brush from my local general dollar store. This is my old concealer brush that I'm getting ready to throw away because um, it's really stained up and stuff. Even after I've washed it and cleaned it, it won't come clean. And it's by e.l.f. 
Um, so it's another, it's my old white concealer brush. You can see how stained looking it is and dirty looking it is. So that's why I went and bought me a new one. And this one I also bought from my local general dollar store. It's a pink eyeshadow brush. I'm trying to make my camera zoom in, but it just does not want to zoom me in and go clear. This is another brush I bought from my local John Dollar store. It's another white eyeshadow brush. And this is another general dollar brush I got. It is an eyeliner brush. It's brand new. I haven't got to use it yet. Um, I'm going to try it out and see how it does. Sorry again for my bird <laughs> making noises in the background. I can't get it to keep quiet for right now. So I hope that's okay. I, I hope the bird don't mess with the video that much. But just again, it's my bird in the background making noises. And that is all of my general dollar um, makeup brushes that I bought. There they are all together. All those right there came from John Dollar. The other one came from that one came from John Dollar too. It just came with a kit, uh, that ma other makeup kit. And it's from Jerome Alexander. Okay, and these are my makeup brushes. I bought a makeup brush set off of ebay.com it's my first makeup brush set ever um these were the, i don't remember how much i paid for these they wouldn't that expensive they're pretty oh sorry about that my camera flipped over i have it on a tripod stand a small one and it, my camera's really big and heavy so it flips but um <clears throat> this is one of my brushes and they're really short brushes these sets are really short and again I got them off of ebay.com I think they might have been under $30 maybe and here's my concealer brush and they just say beauty factory on them that's all they say on them they're like these cheap makeup brush sets And here's an eyeshadow brush. Or I use it for an eyeshadow brush. Here's a blush brush or a foundation um, powder brush. That's what I use it for anyway. This one, I don't know what they're used for or what they're called. It's a really, really soft brush, though. Um, it's like a blackish brown on the bottom and white on top, but I don't know what the name of it is or what it's really used for. Um, so I don't really use that one that much.
This one right here, I use it for a eyeshadow brush. I also use this one for an eyeshadow brush. I use this one. I don't know if it's. I don't know if they're originally supposed to be like a blender brush. I'm not for sure. I don't know the name of each one of them or what they're for, but. I use this one for like blending eyeshadows. And this one right here I use for like a angled um, eyeshadow brush. I use this one the most for my creamy, um, the tattoo uh, creamy uh, color 24 hour creamy eyeshadow. Uh, I use that angled brush for that. This one here is like a smaller blandy brush, or that's what I call it. This one right here is like a tiny, tiny, tiny little brush. I use it for um, if I have like a creamy um, lipstick, I'll rub it in that and rub that on my lips or I'll just if I find some way to use it I'll use it for my makeup this one right here I use for doing uh, using my black eyeshadow um, to make um, eyeliner with so I use this like an eyeliner brush but with my eyeshadow And that is all of my makeup brushes. And this is my stand that I keep all my makeup brushes in. Uh, since my bedroom is beach theme, I got this little cute glass star shaped jar and put sand in it and I uh, stick all my makeup brushes down like uh, I'm doing right now uh, like that and I stick them in one of my white shelves in my room where I keep my makeup, my lotions, my perfumes and my brushes and so this is how I do my makeup brushes. If anybody has another cool idea that I could, how I could store my makeup brushes for a beach bedroom theme bedroom, um, just let me know. But right now, this is how I have my brushes in my bedroom, my makeup brushes. Okay, now my lotions. I love my lotions. <laughs> um, I get most of my lotions from Body and Bath Works. I like certain scents from Body and Bath Works, and this is Sweet Pea um, body lotion, and I really love this is one of the scents I love from Body and Bath Works. These are just small bottles that um, family members have. Uh, bought me for Christmas last year and I try to make them last as long as possible because Body and Bath Works are kind of expensive where I live so um, and I don't ever like get gift cards or stuff like that I just go in and pay cash and 
stuff like that. But this is another one that I really like. It's pink chiffon. It smells so good. And it's also from Body and Bath Works. And it's a small bottle. And this is another one of my favorite scents. It's called Paris Amour. And it's body lotion by Body and Bath Works. And then I have this that somebody gave me for Christmas one year. Um, it came with the body lotion and with shower gel. I have both right now. Um, but I love the smell of the um, La Vida Loca lotion and perfume. It smells really, really good. And this is La Vida Loca. Um, by um, Juicy Couture. And then this is the shower gel, La Vida Loca. And it came, the lotion and the shower gel came as a set. And I got those two for Christmas one year. And then I got this for Christmas, and um, it says Hottest, and it's by Beyonce, the singer Beyonce, and it's Body Lotion. And you should be able to find the Body and Bath Work 3 lotions that I first showed you at Body and Bath Works in the Vida La Loca and the um, Hottest um, by Beyonce Lotions. You can find those at uh, Walmart. And the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, my uncle gave me that because I have really dry skin. Even if I use lotion and everything, my skin still stays really dry. So he gave me this to use for my skin. If my skin gets really dried out really bad during winter, but it don't. it's not as dried out during the summertime like it is winter, but it still stays dried out. So I have to use a lot of lotions. my perfumes this is one of my perfumes I got from my local Dollar Tree it's by GP Jean uh, hold on wait a second Jean Philippi it's like a Paris Hilton off brand perfume uh, it smells really really good Jean Philippe Paris and it's by Paris Hilton by Paris Hilton it's Paris Hilton by Paris, Paris Hilton off brand perfume Dollar Tree brand perfume uh, I thought it had a cute box and then I like the smell of it so this is what the bottle looks like and I found this at my local Dollar Tree And then this one, uh, I got this as a Christmas gift from, I think, my mom one year for Christmas. It's called Selfish. This is our version of the Paris Hilton, Hilton's Just Me, I guess, um, my off-brand version of the Paris Hilton perfume called Just Me. And I got this uh, 
Well, I didn't get this. My mom got it for me for Christmas one year. So I'm not sure where she got it. But as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. I like the smell of it. And this is what the bottle looks like for this. And I'm sorry I'm having to do voiceover on this because my digital camera, um, when I try talking while I record, it don't pick up me talking very well. So I, it's better if I just like record, uh, record with no talking and then go back and add uh, voiceover to my videos. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, this perfume here, um, I also got from my mom for Christmas one, from Christmas one year. Um, I'm not for sure where she got it at, but I like the scent of it too. And I can't pronounce the name of that either. Let's see if I can get it out of the box. So y'all can see what the glass bottle looks like, the perfume bottle. And this is what the perfume bottle looks like. Okay, and this perfume here I got from my local Dollar Tree and it is called Curious by Jane Philippi Paris and it's for women it is it's, it's just um, an off-brand Dollar Tree perfume called Curious for women by Jane Philippi And then this is a spray, a small can of spray um, musk, women's musk. Um, this is fresh white musk for women. And I'm not for sure where I got this. I think I might, I think my mom might have got it for me for Christmas one year, but I'm not sure. And then this small bottle of uh, perfume my mom also got me for Christmas one year. It's called Heaven Scent. And it smells really good. That's a small uh, little bottle of perfume. And this is what the bottle looks like for it. It just says Heaven Scent on it, on the front. And this one, I really like the perfume for this. This is the La Vida Loca perfume. I also have the um, La Vida Loca um, shower gel and lotion and the perfume too. Um, they all came from the same person. I got it as a Christmas gift one year for Christmas. Um, I still have it. I try to save it because I really like the scent of all three of them. The shower gel, the lotion, and the perfume. And that's a cute little square decora decorated um, little glass perfume bottle. It's got like a diamond kind of rough pattern on the bottom of the glass. It did have a pink bow around the lid part, but it came off. And this is a very little small bottle of perfume and it's called Hottest. I also have this 
uh, scent in lotion named Hottest by Beyonce. It was a Christmas gift I got last year from a family member. I think from my mom, maybe. Um, it came with the lotion and with this little thing of perfume. And instead, like a spray bottle, you roll. it has a little roller ball on the inside of it that you roll it onto your wrist in different places. So I really like that. And I like the smell of it too. It smells really good. And this one here, I bought two bottles, big bottles of this because I bought a little bottle first to see how it smelled stuff. And I loved it, the little bottle until it ran out. And so I went to my local Walmart and I saw this at my local Walmart. They had these huge big bottles of this for five dollars a piece so I was like that ain't bad that's really good so I bought me two big big bottles of this cologne that I really really like it's like a fruity a really good smell fruity smell uh, perfume for women it's really really good it's called love struck by sexiest uh, and and the name of it is love struck and you might be able to find this at your local Walmart or online. But it smells really, really good. This would have to be my favorite perfume that I have. And then this one here, I got these for Christmas, um, two different sets. I got the small set and the larger set bottles, but they're the same scent and everything. They're the same, but I got a small and a large, and um, they're from Body Fant uh, Fantasies, Body Fantasies, and they are called Paradise uh, Fantasy. They smell really, really good too. And I got these from my local Walmart for Christmas. And these are also the same scent, and they are also from Body Fantasies. Um, which they came in a two different packs that I got as a Christmas gift. I got them from a local Walmart. And the name on these are called Twilight Mist. Yes, name of them, Twilight Mist. And they are also really good scents to them. And then these are also from Body Fantasies, and they uh, the scent on this is um, Japanese Cherry Blossom. I also like this scent really good. Um, also, these came from my local Walmart. I got them for Christmas last uh, this past Christmas, um, and two different perfume sets. I like perfumes that are kind of like really good smelling or like fruity smelling that smells really nice. Um, so I like my perfumes, I like my lotions. Um, and I like a lot of makeup, really. This one here is also from Body Fantasies and it is. Romance Dreams and it has um, the Eiffel Tower on it and it smells really good too. And I only have one bottle of it.
and it also came from Walmart, my local Walmart. I got it as a Christmas gift. And then this one also came from Body Fantasies. It is Pink Sweet Pea Fantasy. And it's um, a Sweet Pea scented. Um, and I only got one bottle of this. I got it as a Christmas gift this past Christmas. And it came from my local Walmart. And then this one is also from Body Fantasies. I got it as a Christmas gift last Christmas. And it's called, um, let's see, Fresh White Musk. Uh, and it's for women. And um, it smells pretty good too. Came from my local Walmart. Uh, and I got it as a Christmas gift. And this is the only bottle I have a bit. And this is all of my clones. Hope everyone enjoyed my makeup, uh, brushes, low 